Accessibility is not making something for blind people. Accessibility is thinking how can you change the environment in a way that is useful for a blind person and also for a sighted person. What is the future for cities? Do you want to learn more about them? Do you want to know how others think about them? Do you want to be part of the conversation that this is the right place? Welcome to What is the Future for Cities podcast. I will interview Lukas Zhilnadowskis, a PhD student at the Bionic Vision Lab. We will talk about his vision for the future of cities, the city as something to conquer, importance of accessibility compared to disability, and many more. This is happening a lot in gaming right now. There used to be this movement of making audio games. Still is, but it used to be much more prominent. Audio games are basically games that doesn't have any image. So they're only based on audio. I was never a fan of them because as cool as they are, they don't integrate. They are great for blind people to play either by themselves or with other blind people. Oh, but you can play with your sighted friends. Yeah, of course you can. But are you going to convince a sighted child to play a game that doesn't have images? No, you won't. Now, lots are pushing this view of making regular games accessible. I know that Forza is doing it. Last of Us Part Two was a big one. This is incredible. This, for me, is much more accessible than an auto game because it allows me to play against my side of friends. Find out more in episode 270 with Lukas Zhilnadowskis on the... What is the future for cities podcast?